Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, February the 5th, and it's a cold and miserable day in Toronto here. I'm just looking out here on my balcony. This is the balcony that they're rebuilding. Um, so you can see the snow out there. It's kind of like Siberia. But today I'm going to be uh, receiving uh, FT8, and I'm going to use the very versatile program MultiPSK. It's one of my favorite ham radio programs. It can decode practically anything. And they've just added FT4 and FT8 and Whisper to its decode capability. So I'm using, um, I'm indoors, but fortunately I have a magnetic loop, an Alex loop, and it's able to pull in uh, all the HF band signals through the, uh, through the window here, amazingly. I'm in a concrete building with rebar, so it's kind of like a Faraday shield, but it works really well. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at FT8 on 20 meters. So I'm just going to tune the uh, magnetic loop I'm going to tune it, uh, peak it at 20 meters, and then I'm going to go into multi-PSK and uh, do the decode. Right here, I've got uh, an RTL with a Hammond Up converter. Now, you you need the um, if you have the version three of the RTL, you can use direct uh, direct IQ decode. Uh, to, you don't need the up converter, but I'm using an up converter with a version two here. So uh, the up converter is necessary up to about 28 megahertz. So all the HF bands, with the exception of 10 meters and up, I'm using the up converter. So at 20 meters, I'm using it. And there's the input, the PL259 from the um, uh, magnetic loop. So we're going to go into uh, Camtasia here and look at how we set up the multi-PSK. Okay, so we've just uh, peaked our antenna. Let's just check this again. So we've peaked our magnetic loop for 20 meters. Um, this is the, if I look at the uh, FT8 frequencies here, so 20 meters is 14.074. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the um, SDR sharp down. I'm going to go to multi-PSK. I'm going to launch multi-PSK. So here's the startup screen. So what you want to do is um, I'm going to be controlling the RTL directly from multi-PSK, which is a really good feature. So I'm going to make sure the sound input, if I was going to use the audio from SDR Sharp, I would set it here, but I'm not. I'm going to control the RTL directly from multi-PSK. So I've got the default sound card. I'm going to check to see if I see my uh, RTL. So it's detected. It's not used by another application. So that's good. So I'm going to press this key here. Okay, and this will depress automatically, and that will engage the um, RTL. So I'll be able to control it from uh, multi-PSK. I'm going to click this screen here, and there we go. So uh, I've got FT8 RX press, so it's going to decode FT8. Now, since I'm using the Hammond Up converter, I have to set multi-PSK to 125 megahertz plus 14.074, so that would be 139.074. So you enter the frequency there, and then press forward, and it goes into this box here. So now you can see that um, there's our decode window, and you can see the conversations going on there, which is pretty amazing. And there's the decode there. Uh, you can see the timestamp, signal-to-noise ratio, and... Um, frequency shift, etc. So this is pretty amazing. So the advantage then of using multi-PSK is it does everything. It does the controls the RTL and it does the decode all in one package. Notice all the uh, incredible options that you have in multi-PSK as well. I've been using this program since it came out. So um, it's it does practically everything. It's hard to believe that all the stuff is in there. So anyways, uh, you can use it for uh, FT, FT4 and Whisper as well.